If there's one thing which 26-year-old Hungarian guitarist Tomás Sekeros will be remembered for, it will be his creation of the first instrumental heavy metal album ever produced in Eastern Europe. Guitar Mania was sold out in three weeks after hitting the stores in November 1989. Hello, I am Tomás Sekeres, and the members from my band are Tommy Eber on the bass guitar, Tibor Varga on keyboards, and Jord Galantai on drums. was extensively promoted throughout Hungary. Tomás had more than 60 gigs in their majority as a headliner, and a 16-day tour will take Tomás and his band across Holland. Tomás was born in Budapest in 1964. He played the piano from the age of six, inspired by his parents, who are both classical musicians. At the age of 14, he switches over to the acoustic and electric guitar. The playing. I started in my early childhood on piano, uh, I think circa five, and after this, in my teenage age, I start playing guitar because uh, I interested, uh, I start interested about uh, rock and heavy metal music like Deep Purple and Van Halen. I was 14. The really first time I always uh, sit in the front of a tape recorder, listen uh, and uh, play with them, play with other guitar players, uh, learn many styles and uh, read guitar magazines. Yes, the guitar uh, is built it in my life. <laughs> Tomás Sequeiros was influenced by several classical composers. Does he also aim at waving typical Eastern European elements into his music? I am not really influenced by Eastern European music, uh, only the old classic music from Middle Europe, uh, just like Johann Kaspar Mertz. He is an uh, old uh, classic guitar player and classic guitar composer and of course the from the uh, classic music from age of Mozart, Bach, Johann Sebastian Bach, 
and uh, maybe a little bit uh, from Bela Barto. He is a uh, uh, very, very favorite of me. So musicians and uh, helped me very much uh, in uh, in my life and uh, of course my guitar teachers uh, helped me very much uh, I had uh, three guitar teachers uh, first one was a jazz players and two classic guitar players one uh, from the Conservatory Budapest and one from the Music Academy Budapest. Uh, I think is uh, good when I uh, when I explain the names. The jazz players was Laszlo Ungvári and uh, the first classic guitar teachers I started anyway the same time the classic and rock guitars, Eva Morvai, and uh, third, he's a very good uh, classic guitar actor, he's, uh, I'm very sad he died, uh, Laszlo Sandre Karper. Despite of constant changes taking place in the East Bloc, the position Hungarian musicians are in is entirely different from that of musicians living in Western Europe. Is there a difference between performing in Hungary and performing in the Netherlands? The difference between playing uh, Hungary and Holland, I think very minimal, because the all two uh, audience is very demanding but very friendly and when the production is good I think uh, the old two audience can be happy. My first favorite guitar players was of course Richie Blackmore and Van Halen.
During the Dutch tour, the band did 16 concerts and live recordings for Dutch radio were made. On Saturday, the 7th of September, the band did a live recording in the NOB studios in Hilversum in between two concerts. <laughs> when we can record. Uh, sorry? Just give a signal when we can record. <laughs> Tape's running? Well, sure, listen to this. studied at the Franz Liszt Music Academy in Budapest, where he graduated as instructing and performing musician. From time to time he performed solo. To be a very, very clean player, it doesn't matter when I play fast or I play slow or I play a melody, a fine melody. It's, uh, for me, only one important: it must be very clean. According to Tomas, people who don't like hard rock can easily learn to appreciate his music and should feel free to listen to it. Because uh, some uh, numbers, some songs uh, like Adagio or maybe the Guitar Mania, is, uh, maybe it's uh, interesting music, uh, no really easy listening, but uh, enough melodic.
The danger with neoclassical music is that your audience is likely to consist of mainly guitarists. Tomas, who rehearses six up to seven hours a day, claims as far as his music is concerned, that isn't the case. In his opinion, especially the use of recognizable melodies and technical effects, which isn't intentionally accentuated, makes his music accessible and enjoyable for a large audience. I think the first interesting part uh, in my music, it's uh, not, uh, I not wrote uh, this uh, only to guitar, to the guitar players, because uh, when you uh, listen uh, this music, it's uh, not only uh, technical uh, things, technical stuff, it's uh, really songs. Uh, on my LPs uh, with verse, with refrains and guitar solos. I think uh, it's uh, possible uh, to listening not to guitar players also. guitar techniques which is most frequently practiced in hard rock is the so-called tapping technique, among others introduced by Eddie van Halen. How did Tomas get in touch with it? First tapping action uh, was of course the famous Van Halen licks, the eruption. Uh, at the first time I really don't know I cannot imagine uh, what is uh, happen or something like this. Uh, I tried very many uh, trick uh, copying this, and uh, I think after two or three months it was successful. I was unbelievably happy. Yet few have ever heard of him, and in the Netherlands his CD Guitar Mania is regarded as his debut. However, in Hungary he already released four albums, and Guitar Mania, his first solo CD, is soon to be followed by his second. I made uh, four records uh, with other uh, musicians uh, before and the meantime the Guitar Mania. Uh, because uh, I think uh, the good musicians, uh, the good musician must be very many side. Uh, and, uh, but for me, I think the best important this uh, way, the guitar mania. <laughs> 